Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Kevin, and uh, I just got back into Houston last night. Uh, today is Wednesday, October 4th. It's about six o'clock here in Central Time, maybe closer to seven. Just got out of the shower. Um, it's such a busy day, gotta tell you. Uh, I am regretting it. Um, I just got back into Houston last night. Should've got here about two days ago. Um, there's way too much stuff to do. Um, if you can see behind me, there's my truck and camper. I need to sell both of those, or at least the truck, before I leave. And uh, haven't even uh, had discussions with people yet on that. So, uh, been kind of crazy. <sighs> but, uh, you know, and today's one of those days that just did not go right. But I uh, wanted to make this video and uh, just show y'all the last uh, Ballot Buy Unboxes I'm sending back. And uh, just let you guys know, I always highly recommend, if y'all can do it, come to the Philippines, do a reconnaissance mission, um, do some networking and everything, meet some people, and, uh, you know, find out what you like, what you need, and, uh, you know, the things that you can get and you can't. But uh, this video was on the, the last three Balak Mayan boxes I'm sending over, and uh, I'll let you see what that is. I'm back in Houston at uh, my friend's house again. I appreciate them letting me stay here until I leave. But uh, I'm packing up my last couple Balak Bion boxes. Not everything you see here is going in the Balak Bion box, but about 99% of it is. And what I've got over here is my uh, Bowflex adjustable dumbbells. These go from five and a five and a half pounds to 52 and a half pounds. So I'll put one in each box. I've, I've seen the poor little guy that has to come and, and pick up these boxes. And, you know, he only weighs about a buck and a quarter. So hopefully uh, I'll be here to help him load it up. Now, I'm not saying you can't get these things in the Philippines. But if you can find them, they're going to be twice as expensive. But, uh, you know, in case you haven't noticed here, and you can see I've got nine cases, 54 cans of pinto beans there. You cannot get pinto beans in uh, Dumaguete on Negros Oriental. Even if you go to a Mexican restaurant, their refried beans are white beans, navy beans. And I love pinto beans. So, but some of the stuff I'm bringing back, um, just some little luxuries, uh, some also some new things for uh, Jenna Lynn to try. Um, you know, they'll just be one-time things and, you know, not necessarily the best things in the world for you. But, uh, you know, I've got some uh, some baked beans. They have baked beans in uh, Dumaguete, but it's the British baked beans. They're more savory. Um, it comes in a tomato sauce. They're not, um, they're not sweet like we're used to. Um, the stovetop, you know, Jenna's never had it. So I got that and, you know, I bought all this stuff at Sam's. So it's not like I could just buy one can of something. You know, if you go to Sam's or Costco, you got to get the 18 pound bag of cereal. So, but, uh, you know, after meeting me, Jenna Lynn got to try mashed potatoes and she loved those. So got a whole bunch of boxes of those. Now in this stack, this stack's a bunch of just silly stuff so she can try. Well, most of it. Um, down at the bottom, there's uh, you know, a, a case of chicken noodle soup. You can get uh, Campbell's cream of mushroom soup, but I have never seen chicken noodle soup. Um, never saw cream of chicken. I like that as well. Also got some SpaghettiOs and uh, let's see, some Chef Boyardee stuff. And uh, oh, there's actually some beanie weenies down there. But, uh, you know, you can come over here, Old El Paso taco mix. You can buy shells over there and you can buy tortillas. So, but uh, I'm bringing that mix over. And behind that, a 36 pack of pudding. Uh, I'm not a big sweet eater, but when I do, pudding is my favorite. So, and you got this. Um, I don't eat Spam, but you know, just like in Hawaii, Spam is huge in the Philippines and it's very expensive. So, uh, you know, I got, I don't know how many cans that is, but um, I got that at probably a third of the price that you can get in the Philippines. And I actually brought a case of refried beans, some real ones, and I'm gonna share that with uh, some friends, a friend of mine who owns a, a Mexican restaurant. Um, 
Old Spice deodorant. You can, um, you can get deodorant there, but uh, it's just not quality. Uh, and a lot of times it, it's really not in stock. You go in and there might be one can on the shelf. So, uh, see here, I got a power, that's my drill and everything, DeWalt drill, I'll throw that in. I had a bunch of Ziploc uh, freezer bags left over and uh, you can buy those and once again, they're expensive. Um, I don't even think you can get the Ziploc freezer bags. Um, I think you can only get the sandwich bags, but I may be wrong. So, you know, and you can see, uh, picked up an electric toothbrush and some uh, extra heads back there. And then, uh, you know, since I'm bringing my uh, dumbbells over, I'll get a bench when I'm there, but um, getting me, brought me about what, five cases of uh, 30 gram protein drink. You can buy uh, the big cans of whey powder uh, in Robinson's Mall. There's a little kiosk right up right upstairs, uh, right up, uh, once you get off the escalator, but when, again, it's not cheap. So, uh, got some beef jerky, that's not going in the Balak Bion box, that'll come with me on the plane, and some uh, shelled walnuts, which are good protein and healthy fats, better than pistachios or, you know, any of the other things you can get. Um, spaghetti sauce, I got the Alfredo and the Prego. Now you can get uh, this stuff, uh, you can get it at uh, Bellcrest, but you're looking at like $7.50 or $9 a, a can. And, uh, you know, at Sam's, I got three of each for about $7.50, so you can't beat it. But I will show you, oh, and here's some uh, canned tuna. I actually don't like tuna, but Jenna Lynn does. But I'll show you the main thing that I'm bringing back, the reason why I stopped at Sam's, and that's medicine. When you go to... Uh, a drugstore in the Philippines, it's not like you go to Walmart or Walgreens or CBS and you've got a whole aisle of cough syrup and cold and flu remedies to choose from. You walk up to the, uh, to the counter and there's some little girl back there, she'll ask you what's wrong with you. You tell her and then she'll plop up a little, uh, you know, a little pill or uh, a bottle of the most basic Robitussin. And, you know, and you can sit there and tell them, hey, look, I've done this already. Uh, it didn't help. I'm still sick three weeks later. And they'll ask you your symptoms again and then say, this is what you want. So um, I actually picked up way more medicine than what I need, but it's better to have too much. And in case any of my friends need some over there, I can share. But um, this melatonin, um, you know, that's expensive as heck over there. Neosporin, never saw it. Dayquil, never saw it. Dayquil or NyQuil, which is what I love. Um, the Tylenol cold and flu, um, those pills work great. I mean, between those and NyQuil, that normally knocks out everything I have here in the US in just a, a short period of time. But uh, you can't find any of that over there. You know, so I mean, this Theraflu, uh, more Theraflu vitamins, Vitamins are very expensive. You know, I got uh, Jenna Lynn's mom some, some vitamins and uh, got Jenna Lynn some and me some magnesium. And uh, for toothpaste, um, I like Crest or uh, Sensodyne and you can't find either one over there. The only thing you can find over there is Colgate. So uh, I actually bought this, but uh, what I'm basically showing you guys, um, you know, once you uh, have an address or know someone over there and you can send a Balak Bion box, uh, if there's anything in your pantry or in your, uh, you know, bathroom cabinet, your drug cabinet, whatever you want to call it, um, that you really want, really need, uh, you need to take it with you. You know, that's, that's just my honest opinion. Like I said, um, if you, if you uh, really want it, it's best to just go ahead and be safe and do it now. Also, uh, I forgot, I picked up some uh, razors. Um, there's a Dollar Shave Club and there's Harry's Razors. And uh, I mean, you can buy a year's supply. Uh, well, a year's supply for me, I don't shave that much. Plus I have some extras, but um, I mean, you can get razors for dirt cheap at either one of those places. That's Harry's or uh, Dollar Shave Club. And uh, oh, again, so, and if there's any seasonings you like, got some slap your mama right there. 
Yeah, that comes from uh, Louisiana. Some sriracha ketchup, so, and uh, some Pedialyte, and uh, you know, it helps hydrate you. And if you're gonna have a long party day, uh, that actually mixes well with uh, vodka or gin. So any clear alcohol. So keep that in mind, guys. There's a, there's a tip. If you don't want to be hung over and dehydrated the next day, just throw in a splash of Pedialyte with, uh, with your vodka and, and just get, uh, get a little extra flavor. So anyway, that's, uh, that's it. Got some other clothes and stuff coming over. But this is, uh, this is the gist of it, like I said. So, um, and this, this is a lot of money. This is, uh, I'm not even going to tell you how much I spent, but you can see the big pile here and, and maybe figure it out. But again, just letting y'all know if, uh, if I could get this stuff over in the Philippines, uh, for, you know, or get it for a decent price, I wouldn't be bringing it over. And it's actually, you know, it's actually cheaper over here and still paying a hundred dollars to send that big box over. So just, uh, points to ponder. Anyway, I'm going to uh, go ahead and pack all this up now. So again, um, you know, the stuff that I'm bringing over is stuff that for me, I couldn't find or I couldn't find it at the price and uh, just stuff that I wanted, stuff that would make my life easier. Did I need it? Hmm, no, especially I didn't need probably half of it. But um, also another thing that I didn't show you, I'm also bringing over a, uh, a thing called a one pot that's uh, like a crock pot and uh pressure cooker and all that trust me that stuff if you can get something like that pick something up in the u.s for a hundred bucks 130 bucks or whatever you know that's it's outrageous in the uh, philippines if you can find it and if you order it from amazon you'll pay an import fee odds are you know but um you know another thing that i didn't show you I'm bringing over some nice clothes. One thing that I never thought about, um, I was actually invited, you know, it depends on who you network with, but um, you know, Jenna Lynn and I were invited some, to some pretty nice parties and Jenna Lynn has some very nice clothes, but I didn't, you know, it's shorts and, and sandals and everything. So I'm actually bringing over some uh, ostrich skin, uh, Tacova cowboy boots. Um, some nice slacks, a couple of uh, nice shirts, just in case. I mean, odds are, you know, not going to wear them very often. Um, and also jeans. I didn't even have jeans. So um, just think about that, guys. You know, I mean, you think about coming over and it's the Jimmy Buffett lifestyle and, you know, you're on the beach all the time. But you may actually meet some uh, influential people and be invited to some nice parties. So, you know throw in a, a pair of jeans, maybe some slacks and nice shoes or whatever. Um, you know, you don't need a coat and tie or anything like that. It's way too hot for that. But anyway, um, I hope you like this video. I'm really looking forward to uh, getting back to the Philippines. I know you guys are bored with the U.S. and, and not that interested, but uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting back in the saddle again and uh, making you guys happy. But anyway, I hope you like this video and uh, subscribe. So until, until next time, we'll see you. So wherever you are, have a good night or a good day. Thanks. Bye.